Hello guys. Um, I'm oh, sorry. Let me fix this a little bit. I'm at Epcot. Um, at the Connections Eatery. I have not ate here. I'm with my mom. She has ate here before. I'm officially done with my other uh, job, so I am lit, basically off for the next two weeks before I start my new role. Um, we love corporate America. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, so we decided to come to Epcot. I worked a couple hours this morning, and then I feast. Um, so. The only thing I did want to point out is she's been here before, but she's not mobile ordered. Um, her and my dad just walked up and basically did the um, the walk up and order and then get your food. And it took them like 30, you said 35 to 40 minutes, 35 to 40 minutes to get their food. So we got here at, I don't know, maybe 11.50ish. So we've been here about like 24 minutes since now 12.15. Um, we did place a mobile order. The only thing I would like to say is, um, Theirs is a little different than other mobile orders. Usually mobile orders here, you can kind of like zip in, zip out, like add your stuff, you, I'm here, it's really quick. Like commissary is like lightning fast. Um, it's not the same here. Um, it's a little bit annoying because we place the food and it's now, I can't even, they won't even start making my food till 12.30. And the window for me to pick it up is between 12.30 to one. Um, normally that wouldn't bother me and it still does and I'm still here to have relax, have a good day, have a good time. Um, but I would bear that in mind because I just watched a gentleman come in literally 10 minutes after us, walk up to the food counter and he already has food and he's already eating. So I get it, but they're not really prioritizing the mobile ordering aspect super well here right now and they are new so they're probably working out some kinks so I, do, I am not giving them any flack whatsoever. Um, but I did want to point that out to you guys if you're looking to come here and eat That is something to be aware of for the mobile food order section of it um, We've got about another 15 minutes for our food window even opens So just bear that in mind um, if you're coming in the next few weeks They're still working through I think some kind of changes and things going around But uh, other than that, it's a really beautiful day out it's in the 90s. It's like 83 right now, but real feels like 93, I think. Um, but it's really nice out. There's just a nice breeze. We didn't really have that on May the 4th, so that's good. But uh, that's really about it, and I will check back with you guys when we get the food. Okay, quick update. It is now 12.30. I literally was not able to click that I'm even here until 12.29. So they're now, just now preparing my food. So bear that in mind, I've been waiting over 40 minutes and people that have come in after me and just walked up have already gotten my food. So my recommendation to you um, is to just kind of play it by ear, but my mom said that when her and my dad came the other day, what'd you say? You said it took you like 30, 40 minutes though just when they stood in line. So it must just depend on the day here. I don't know really what to tell you guys what, like 100% what to do, but the fact that they're just now preparing my food and it's 12.30? It's a little problematic, just a little. Okay, so I just got my food, it is now basically an hour later, which is ridiculous, <laughs> but we're here. This is the General So's chicken salad. That is the little kid's meal, that's the two fries and that, and this is the waffle that we're gonna eat afterwards. I forget the name of it. It starts with an L. Yeah, that's what it is, the liege waffle. Mom says it's great, so we're gonna try it afterwards. Also, they did not have any other dressings other than um, barbecue right now, which is not super great if you're not a barbecue person. They had no ranch, they had no honey mustard. So I don't know what's going on today, but we'll get into it. All right, so here's going to be my review of food. Uh, the waffle is five out of five. Chaps, like, it's one of the best desserts probably on property. And I've ate a lot of desserts, because my mom and I are, that's like our thing is sweets. So. The waffle is great. Uh, it's got strawberries, the syrup, chocolate. Um, the cream on top is like way better than just like your average whipped cream. It's very thick and very good. Love it, 10 out of 10 would recommend, five out of five, whatever rating you wanna give it, full stars. My salad, the General So salad, I would probably give it a four. Um, I wanted there to be like one more chicken piece. I got about two and a quarter pieces. Um, the dressing is a just a smidge um, spicy, so just be aware of that. Um, if you're used to general sodas, and I'm sure you'll be fine. There's edamame in it, mandarin oranges, and about a few wontons. I would have liked there to be a couple more wontons as well, so that's really the only reason it got the review it did. It's also smaller. Um, I wasn't here the, like around the first week that they opened. My mom said that she came and that it was like twice the size of this, so 
going on. Maybe that was just like an intro week for like what it was supposed to be. But the whole experience overall is very good here. I love the aesthetic of Connections Eatery. It's great and Connections Cafe. Um, excuse me. But uh, yeah, it's just this whole process of waiting for the mobile food order was, it's literally one o'clock now and we got here at 11.50. So that's the only thing I will preface this with is that that was the only damper on the kind of experience. I don't know if that's just like they're just working out through bugs or whatever like I was saying before. But overall it is a very good place to eat. I would still recommend you come here and try. Just kind of play it by ear as to what exactly you decide to do. Um, it's about, I think it's average price, don't you think? Three. Oh, for this? It was 34 for all of this, so this. Two and two desserts. And the drinks. So, like, mine's regular size. My mom's is the kid's meal. Um, they have chicken chicken tender adult meal um, the first week she came, but it's not here now for some reason. So, hers came with two chicken tenders and fries. Um, yeah. She did order double fries, but they didn't look like they gave her double fries, so it was kind of weird. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really good. Um, regular paper cups. The only place you get the really, really big cups are Casey's Corner and I think Pecos Bills, right? And Pecos and Magic Kingdom. Those are the only places I've seen the extra large cups. Usually it's just regular size, which is fine for me. I got unsweetened tea. She did too, and we just sweetened it ourselves. Um, but that's what we're like so far um, the experience here I would still go I liked it a lot it's very pretty it's nice it's over by like Guardians like over on that side Cosmic yes, I know Cosmic Rewind <laughs> um, which my premiere is on Sunday which is also Mother's Day so that's awesome um, but yeah that's kind of my reviewed for today. I'm sure we'll get some like different drinks in Epcot. I'm looking for the apple ice wine to kind of celebrate and kick it off. I cannot for the life of me remember if that was in Germany or if that is in um, Canada. So <laughs> I'm going to ask both. It's been years since I had it. I'm leaning towards Canada I think is where they have it. Um, but it's really good. It's a white wine. It's um, sweet though because I don't like a dark, dry, bitter wine. That's not my vibe. Um, and I typically lean towards reds, but this one was really good and it's super cold, which is nice because it's really warm out again today, but in a good way. In a way that we love. In the Florida way that we love. Um, I'm a huge fan of the heat, so it's good for me. But I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. I'm sure we after we are out of connection since this has like been the only part of the video so far. A little bit later, we've been exploring the showcase. I did find my ice wine. I did not record it um, for two months before, and it was like a baby, baby M. So I'll insert the picture. It's like thirteen dollars. So quite a bit of money. And so I went to France. And we're shopping there now, and I got this, which is a citron slushy that was like fifteen. So a much better deal, and you get a lot more, and it tastes really, really good. I do not like the Grand Marnier, and I do not like the Lovey and Rose one. I only like this one, so just as an FYI. All right, guys, we are heading out of the China Pavilion. You got your stuff? Okay. Um, so since last update since I saw you, we were in France. Um, we did stop by Morocco. The store outside is now open again, which makes me really, really happy. Um, I got a lamp and so did my mom. It's beautiful, it's multicolored, and it's from Morocco. So that's the, that's the cool thing about that is that like it's stuff that's actually made there. They try to do that a lot in some of the pavilions, um, but that was closed since if you guys didn't know, Morocco used to be actually owned by the country of Morocco. Like the king over there owned it. Um, and then they sold it back to Disney uh, within the last year or so. So they had closed a bunch of stuff, changed a bunch of stuff around. So they're still trying to work out things at that pavilion. Sorry if you can barely see me, it's sunny. Um, but then we stopped there and then we also stopped in Japan and they had Attack on Titan, the little um, plushies that I'll show you guys later, back and I got Cleaning Levi which is amazing. He was who I wanted. They did not have any Aaron Yeager or Hanji or anybody else. Um, that was cool. And mom got a little cat tea towel that my brother is going to pay for her for Mother's Day. <laughs> um, and then we stopped in 
in the China Pavilion. We're gonna actually park hop over to Hollywood Studios to meet up with my brother because he's off work. Um, and we actually ended up picking up these little, they have these little cat figurines that are for like the specific year. And since it's the year of the tiger, um, I've been collecting them. So we had a cat named Parsons who unfortunately passed away last November. And um, I miss him terribly and so does the rest of my family. So me and my mom always find like little cats or little figurines places. And if we think that he kind of like reminds us of them, we buy them. And so um, I've picked up like, I have two from the China Pavilion and now they are doing these like really cool mystery boxes. And you can actually get them and then you, it's a surprise you get inside and they're completely boxed. The other ones I had before were not boxed. Um, you got to pick which one you had, but they're doing these anymore. <laughs> and they are super cute. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, and I am obsessed and I cannot wait to open mine and see what it looks like. All right guys, something epic just happened as we're making our way over to Epcot like I told you. <laughs> Um, they had to sign out for gear, and every time I've been there, as you guys know, if you follow along in the vlogs, I have gone to try and meet him, because he has been a staple since we've been coming here as kids. And, um, with the fragrance and the perfumes, and like, all the little old ladies love him, and it's adorable. He does skincare, perfume, like all kinds of stuff. If you smell the Nora perfume, he designed all that. He was there today, and I asked if I could take a picture with him, and he said yes. So my mom was able to get two or three photos of us, which was so nice, and he was super, super nice. Um, I did ask the cast member, though, just as a point to ask before um, I walked up to him if I was allowed to take a picture with him. I would suggest that just because some people are not cool with that, some people are. But he was so nice, and I'm so excited. So it has been a really good day. So I'm with Nicholas now. He's enjoying his green milk. My mom went home. She dropped me off. Um, she wasn't feeling well. It is very, very warm today. I actually didn't um, tell you guys right when we got here because I was feeling um, kind of, I don't want to say heat exhaustion, but I, it was it was pretty close. Uh, Nicholas can attest to me looking pretty green when I walked in. He's shaking his head yes. Um, so I decided to take a break and get something to drink. So I have water um, and I drink some a little bit of pop. Sometimes that boosts me up a little bit. Um, just to make me feel a little bit better. We're walking around the two right now. Um, we're only gonna be here for like a couple hours because he's gotta work the last, he's, what time you start again? 4.45? Yep. 4.45 to 1.15, it's his last day of training. Well, not, well last, last day of early morning. Early morning training, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're in the Droid Depot now. IG-11. Oh, that's cool. It's a puzzle. Oh, that's cool. We got the metal model. Oh, Builder. Oh, this is cool. Like, it's the different ones. Mm. C-Series, BB-Series. Like a swatch for this one. Yeah. Yeah, I got a brain freeze. Oh, okay. You all right? <laughs> oh, no. I'll be okay. Okay. He went with green. He switches off between the... Yeah, he does. Um, that's nice. I liked this, the little cow neck thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you can tell Nichols is not wearing highlighter. It's just sweat. It's Florida heat. Natural, natural luminescence. Oh, natural. Nichols, were you jealous that I get to meet Gear this morning? Oh, yes, very. <laughs> And by the way, we were definitely not making fun. We literally like like it here, and we love the fact that we think it's hilarious. The fact that the women just like clamor over him, so and adorable at the same time. So just in case you were wondering, we are not making fun by no means. Um, walking through the droid depot. I haven't made a droid, but I'm gonna take you guys on that adventure. I want to make an R2 unit. You can buy the backpacks, so they have plenty of those in stock. Droid builders. I like those hats. Sweet. Walking out of the two to go look for um, the wishables. Go ahead. I don't... Film, I'm going to turn the car one more time before we go. Go ahead. I don't know if um, they're going to have uh, any more of them. That was like a May the 4th thing, so I don't really know. Um, I'm just moving over here so I can talk to you guys. So I don't know if they're going to have those or not. Um, 
Nicholas is checking on some stuff over at his cart. I did find something really, really cool. Um, first of all, I've always wanted the card game Sabak. Sorry guys, I'm kind of treating myself this week because it's a, it's a very big week for me. Um, I don't talk about it very often on, on here, but uh, the job I was at was really, really bad for my mental health and it's just been a long time coming, so I've kind of been going a little bit crazy this week of celebrating. Normally I do not spend this much money and I do not go all out, but it's been special. Um, I'm just kind of celebrating. Yeah, that's basically about it. Um, I did find something really cool though. I did buy the card game as I was telling you two seconds ago, Sabak. Um, I've wanted that for a while and I just decided, why the hell not? Sorry, try not to swear on this channel. Um, but yeah, I really wanted them so I bought the cards. And then, I'm so excited, you have no idea. I have been looking for months for, um, and the, quite literally months, the extra small to extra large um, women's gray uh, like cosplay bands. I don't have her as a cosplay yet. It's on my list this year to create and do. Um, but I've wanted the band so that I can do like a Disney bound at the parks and I have not been able to find them. And then tonight, lo and behold, they were at the store. They had about six left. Um, last time I was here, the only ones they had were the kids and I searched kind of far and wide for them and I did not find them. So I was very overjoyed that they have them and I am very lucky. It has been a really, really good day so far. Um, I am feeling better, like I said earlier, with the heat exhaustion, it was a little bit meh, touch and go. Um, I did get two waters and drink some pop, so I'm nursing the second water right now. Um, but that's the biggest tip I have for you guys right now, is to really stay hydrated. Um, yeah. Also, I cannot wait to take this makeup off tonight. I am literally just so sweaty. Um, I know I talk about Meg all the time, but she doesn't wear makeup. Uh, well, she wears like concealer and stuff and then just kind of leaves her face bare for the summer and mostly all the time she doesn't really wear a lot of foundation and to be honest guys with the way that it's been going the last few days i'm kind of leaning towards doing that for summertime because it is it's very warm in florida and i struggled with that a lot last summer um i kind of tried to mess around with the tinted moisturizers maybe i'll do that with like a tinted spf but i'm really thinking about doing that for this summer because your girl is hot and uh yeah i don't know let me go check on Nicholas. He's been at that cart for a while. All right, Nicholas, what do you think your wish bowl is going to be? No, <laughs> don't say it. What is it? Oh my god. I picked you out a Millennium Falcon, I'm telling you. God damn it. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of cute. Kind of cute? He didn't want a porg. What did you want, the Millennium Falcon? <laughs> yes, yes I did. Sorry to disappoint you. I expect disappointment, you know, never be disappointed. All right, they're MJ Watson, uh, Michelle Jones, sorry. I think MJ actually said that too. Yeah, probably. I went in Tatooine Traders and I told myself I was done buying things for the night and then I found a Padme Amidala uh, postcard in a, a Ray one and then I wasn't done. So, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you. All right guys, I just got chicken tenders and fries at the um, the Backlot Express. I haven't ate here in literally like years. Um, I just needed something else to eat. I was feeling kind of sick and I'm just drinking water with it. Um, this is the big thing I wanted to come here for too. This is the Wookiee cookie. Um, they're supposed to be really good. It kind of reminds me of like the carrot cake one, but they used to sell at the writer shop here. I'm really excited to try that. I will share that, um, what it tastes like after I'm done eating here. Um, we're kind of just like milling around. My Multiverse of Madness is tomorrow, Nichols works tomorrow, so we're not gonna be here for super, super much longer. But yeah, I'll check back with you guys in a bit. I'm almost done eating, but Nicholas went to go get another one. So we're wa awaiting the verdict. He is struggling with his packaging right now. Hardcore guys. Who is it? I <laughs> can't get it open. Sorry. Oh. Where'd you get the Millennium? Yeah, 
you got it. <laughs> so now you have three or four. No, oh, it's cute. I didn't know how to face. Yeah. Look at, look at, look at the back door. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of oh my god, my battery's special. It's so cute, guys. All right, guys. My camera battery's probably battery. Battery. It's probably gonna start flashing here in a second. Um, we finished up eating over there. Um, thoughts on the Wookie cookie? I think it's just okay. And there it is. It's flashing. I will try to do this as best I can before it dies. I do have a spare that I'll have to change to. Um, it's just okay. I'm not a big fan. That was a little grainy, and I like an oatmeal cookie. It was just kind of there for me. And it's 6:29, so it is a big cookie. Maybe you guys like it. I know it's unpopular, but I don't really like it. I'm waiting for Nicholas to get a frozen Coke while I change my camera battery. Um, just waiting for him. Um, right now, I just wave to him from the line. We're gonna do some shopping on some, uh, Sunset Boulevard. Uh, along um, Main Street and all, not Main Street, I'm blanking, Hollywood and all that, you know what I'm talking about. We're gonna be doing some stuff through there. I really need to top up my lipstick and I have not done it. All right, well, this is just just what happens, guys. Anyway, um, that's what we're gonna do. I'm looking for a shirt for my mom that she's looking for. Not, I'm not looking for it for myself. She wants it. It's an orange for a shirt. Blouse, sorry. Um, waiting for that. Tomorrow is Dizzy Springs and we'll give her some madness. And I do have to return a couple dresses I bought from Francesca's on sale. We'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, that's really about it. Sorry if that was un very not graceful of me picking my teeth and my tongue there. Um, yeah, I do, um, it's gonna be a lot of vlogging the next few weeks because I don't start my new job till the 23rd. Um, yeah, I'm still waiting for him. So the Coke line has like a lot of people, but I think it's like before they close. Also this Baby Yoda band is like too big for me. But if I make it any tighter, then it's too tight for me. So I keep it a little looser, so then it ends up doing this. Hey, cool, huh? Um, but yeah, that's what I'm up to right now. I'm just waiting for Nicholas to see this frozen Coke, and then we are gonna shop around. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm sure I will vlog um, until we get back to the car, and then I'll take you guys with me tomorrow. I'll do a separate, I will take you around Disney Springs, but I'll do a separate tour of, um, what's it called? Multiverse of Madness. Um, it will probably include spoilers, but I will, always, as always, I will indicate that if so. Um, yeah, that's what we're up to, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we are heading out of Hollywood Studios right now. I am going to end the vlog here. I hope you had a really fun day hanging out with me um, and just celebrating life and new accomplishments. And I look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow at Disney Springs to see what we get up to before Multiverse of Madness. Good evening. Have a good evening. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a good one, a good night, good morning, whatever time you are watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.